Ancient Greece produced some of the best minds in mathematical history. It was arguably one of the earliest cultures to extend its system of mathematics from the basic level of addition and subtraction to advanced geometry and number theory through people such as Euclid and Archimedes. Greek mathematicians even began to touch upon concepts barely understood by most today. For example, infinity, which began with Zeno's paradox, a hypothetical race between Achilles and a tortoise. The word mathematics derives from the Greek word mathema, meaning knowledge. Ancient Greece was a hotspot for flourishing mathematicians and great minds, centuries before their time, with groundbreaking theories and ideas, which included geometry, algorithms, trigonometry, and many others. The first well-known Greek mathematician was Thales of Miletus, who reputedly used trigonometry to calculate the height of the pyramids and the distance between ships at sea. He also showed that any angle inscribed on the circumference of a circle which is subtended from its diameter must be a right angle, which is still used in geometry. Another famous set of his theorems were those about the ratios of various line segments that are created if two intersecting lines are intercepted by a pair of parallels. However, Pythagoras is commonly considered as the first true mathematician and the father of pure mathematics. While Pythagoras didn't leave any mathematical writings himself, a lot of his students have attributed all that they know to him. Pythagoras is mainly known for his proof of Pythagoras' theorem, in which he showed that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides, or in more common terms, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is commonly shown as 4, b is 3, and c is 5. This is known as a Pythagorean triple. There are many of these, for example, 5, 12, and 13, and 6, 8, and 10. Pythagoras started the foundations of number theory with his interest in prime and perfect numbers. When Pythagoras' student Hippasus tried to calculate the value of the square root of 2, he found that it was not possible to express it as a fraction, thereby indicating the existence of irrational numbers. This discovery threatened the elegant mathematical world made by Pythagoras. Therefore, Pythagoras drowned out Hippasus' discovery. Pythagoras also realized that the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with n size is equal to 180n minus 360. Another prominent Greek mathematician was Euclid of Alexandria, who provided the basis for many modern theories in both his own original works and his compilation of mathematical thought already current in ancient Greece at around that time, including that of Thales and Pythagoras. The most notable of his works in this respect is his Elements, which covers a huge amount of topics from geometry through prime and perfect numbers to algorithmic factorization, and is most famous for his logical step-by-step -step method of reasoning when demonstrating a proof. Archimedes was not only one of the most famous theoretical mathematicians, but also the most famous engineer and applied mathematician in ancient Greece. He is well known for discovering the relation of a sphere's surface area to its circumscribing cylinder, stating that the surface area of a sphere is four times that of its greatest circle, or more commonly known as 4 pi r squared. Discovering this without the use of calculus showed his true intelligence. Moreover, in the engineering world, Archimedes is probably best known for his invention of the Archimedes screw, a method to raise water which is still used in developing countries to draw water from water supplies. The fact that these minds could flourish in such an environment is a great credit to the intellectual freedoms which those in ancient Greece enjoyed on the whole. Furthermore, these people contributed so much to mathematics that many of their ideas are still currently in very wide use. Therefore, the debt which modern mathematics owes to the ancient Greeks is enormous, since, with most modern theorems being based, at least in part, on ancient Greek ideas, the opportunities which they opened up for modern intellectual advancement were infinite.